What's up everyone? This is a real quick video for Tech Haberdashery. Uh, I just wanted to say I made some progress with the blue bold N1 and I actually got Android 10 on it. So go me. <laughs> it took a lot of work. It was way more trouble than it was worth. This is not a full on review that's going to be coming in the coming weeks. Just wanted to let you know it is possible. I am going to do a full video and we're going to go into some benchmarks. But as you can see, this is the real deal for the Android open source project. This is their uh, kind of their it's the GSI. I think it's the generic system image. So we'll go into all of that. I'll show you some quick things. So let me start out by saying this is not something you should do if you care about anything on your phone. I had to wipe everything. I mean every single partition on this phone in order to get the AOSP 10 to install with twerp. That being said, it does work. It takes a long time to boot, it's about 40 seconds, but it does actually boot and this is such an incredible improvement and it proves that this can be done. So aside from not dedicating resources to doing it, Blue has no real reason as to why they can't be doing this. Now as we load into the primary home screen here, is it called the home screen on Android? That's Apple talk. Anyway. You'll see it's pretty much stock as stock gets. I've pretty much added everything on here, including Firefox. It works wonderfully. It thinks the phone is a Pixel. That's a small price to pay for having something that runs Android 10. For any of you hardcore nerds out here, here's the build number and the kernel version. It's running 4.4 of the Linux kernel, so a little bit older, but pretty cool. This is the built-in web browser. It is actually, in fact, a pretty competent web browser. I actually decided to load up YouTube here to see if it would work, although there is no, uh, you can't hold the period and get things like .com or .org or .net to pop up. So I just pulled up YouTube, tapped on the first thing. Uh, it's a dude perfect video, one of their sports videos, because that seems to be what they specialize in. It's a bunch of crazy sports. Um, so we can see we actually loaded up full screen. It plays 1080p. You can choose your options. So it has no issue streaming over Wi-Fi. And it's going to play for you just fine. Volume buttons work, as you might expect, as you might hope. It'll go into do not disturb mode, vibrate only, it'll play volumes at their regular settings, you can turn the volume up, turn it down, you can actually go into the individual sound settings here and look to see that you can control every option individually. Going into more options, gets a little more granular, pretty standard Android fare, but it is stock as stock gets. Screenshot option works. You can take a screenshot with it. Then you can go in and do a little editing. I didn't do a very good job with the camera here, but you can change it to different tones. And then if you actually open up the gallery app, well, I installed Firefox, that was my bad. The gallery app and go to screenshot. You can see that your changes are there. No peeking at the benchmarks, we're gonna get to that. And I think that the most interesting thing here is that the camera actually works and there's no special software needed. You can go straight to your gallery. You can go to video and you can record video. And it's nifty that you can slide in from the left. It's nothing really tells you that. It's just kind of intuitive if you find that intuitive. And then you can actually turn on the selfie option as well. It has a built-in HDR mode. And the selfie cam requires no special software to work. That's nice. So the outro here is obviously uh, recorded in two parts compared to the intro. And that's because my original outro had some issues. The audio was totally messed up and would not, I could not get it fixed. Anyway, short version of it is that's a preview of the AOS P10 on the Blue Bold N1. Like I said, full review is coming. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good one. Bye now.